the call by President Muhammad Buhari that uh, developed and developing nations to grant duty-free and quota-free market access for products originating from the world's 46 least developed countries to ensure their integration in regional and global value chains. He said this in Doha, the capital of the state of Qatar, at the United Nations Conference of Least Developed Countries. The Nigerian leader challenged developed countries, civil society actors, the private sector, and the business community to partner with the LDCs in order to provide necessary resources and capacity to deliver development outcomes in the economic, social, and environmental aspects of the 2030 Agenda. President Buhari also talked about the issue of rising debt burden. He warned that such debt burdens will make it extremely difficult for LDCs to meet the 2030 Agenda for 17 Sustainable Development Goals. While Nigeria is not categorized as one of the least developed countries, President Buhari said he has only come to show solidarity and support. <clears throat> Chad is an LDC. Chad, Chad is a least developed country. And uh, like all the least developed countries, there are real developmental challenges. And, uh, and of course, you know, Nigeria taking part in this conference uh, is to show uh, solidarity with least developed countries and, uh, and also to, to build the base of support amongst uh, all those countries. And there's a significant number of them, about 77 or so. So. Um, um, so they still also face, in addition to their political challenges, um, there are the other developmental ch challenges, you know, the climate change, effect of climate change on them, and um, the, um, you know, challenge of uh, the food crisis that's impacting also on Chad. And these are all the things that are being discussed uh, at this LDC's conference. So, you know, to that extent, um, you know, Mr. President um, also um, committed to you know supporting as much as we can um, the those challenges that are faced but of course nigeria also as a developing country faces um, its own developmental challenges but it's important to feel uh, that um, you know we work together uh, being in the same sub-region i'm back whom, days after receiving his certificate of return from INEC in Abuja, the president-elect Ashwa Jibola Tinubu is in Lagos and has paid homage to the Oba of Lagos, Rilwan Akiolu. At the palace, the Oba Akiolu appealed to Lagos residents to vote Babajide Songwolu in the upcoming governorship election for a second term. Senior correspondent Ade Doja Salam Adeni tells us more. Ashwa Jubalatinubu is back with a highly sought after crown that comes with a great responsibility. The president elect was welcomed by the governor of Lagos State, Babaji De Sonwulu, and other All Progressives Congress chieftains at the presidential wing of the Muritala Muhammad Airport. All roads then lead to Igai Dugono, the palace of the Obar of Lagos. At Iga, chiefs and well wishes clustered around one of their own. For the Oba of Lagos, this is a moment to be proud of. A Lagosian is now the president elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> Ashiwaju used the opportunity to appreciate Lagosians for their support.
After rains of prayer, the Oba presented the president-elect with Al-Quran as its guardian and a prayer mat. Ashwa Jubala Hamed Tinubu polled 8.7 million votes to beat 17 other contestants to be declared the winner of the 2023 presidential election. Adedoja Salama Deni, TVC News, Lagos. Christian clerics have asked Nigeria's president elect Ashwa Jubala Tinubu and vice president elect Senator Kashim Shatima to prioritize the selection of a competent and capable team that would help translate their vision of renewed hope into reality. Speaking at a press conference in Abuja, the clerics say their victory at the polls is a dream come true as many Nigerians believe in their competence, capability, and vision. The Christian leaders also tasked the president-elect to confront the nation's economic challenges and insecurity squarely while reaching out to the aggrieved contestants who are already in court. It's now time to test who you are because we expect that you should be able to create a balance. And this will be evidence in the next appointments you are going to be making. This will be evidence in the appointments you will make and how you run the country in order to ensure that there is balance in appointments, in order to ensure that there is fair spread, carrying everybody along, not minding who elected you or who did it. Because in every contest, there must be the fact that they were competitors, that is why you were a winner. You know, so we expect him to reach out to these aggrieved parties, douse their fears and tension, and let them believe in Nigeria again. And let's move on. Politicking as regards the presidential election has passed. Now what is left is building a one Nigeria. Let every aggrieved party, everyone that have participated in the election, now look back and see what they can contribute to building a healthy, successful, courageous Nigeria that we will stand and then speak all over the world. In the meantime, the Northern Alliance Committee has congratulated the President-elect Bola Tinubu and his running mate Kashim Shatima for their victory. The group comprises of notable politicians diplomats, technocrats, and traditional rulers who asked the president-elect to begin to reach out to all interest groups across the country and unite everyone across political and ethnic divides. They also passed a vote of confidence on the winners of the presidential election, assuring that the benefits of electing Bola Tinubu as president will soon become evident. We appreciate the maturity showing by a number of members of opposition parties by conducting themselves responsibly since the declaration of the president's result, we also thank the people of Nigeria for responding, for reposing their confidence in the candidate of the old Progressive Congress, Ashwaju Bola Abishnu. We also thank the leadership of old Progressive Congress President Muhammad Buhari. Because the northern people elites believe that believe the power should shift to the south, number one. And number two, um, Ahmed Bola Tinubu is somebody who has been known all over the country and who has really worked, who had worked tremendously, who has worked tremendously towards this victory and who has worked, has built, has built bridges all across the country. And we believe that his victory will mean, will contribute a lot to the, con to the development of the North and the country in general? Uh, if we look at it from that angle, we should be able to acknowledge that the winner has emerged and take that in good faith. But whatever, you, you know there must be aggrieved people. Even in your community, in the house, people who don't believe in what you believe. But the good thing is there is a good system to seek redress. That is to go before the court of competent jurisdictions.